Colombia wants to double its flour exports to $3 billion in the next decade. Colombian President Ivan Duque made that announcement ahead of one of Colombia's most important flour export days, Valentine's Day. Apart from its export value, the flour industry represents a valuable part of the production chain. It represents hundreds of thousands of heads of households who wake up every morning to go to the plantations and produce with great determination a positive Colombian image for the world to see. According to President Duque, the Colombian government will help clear trade barriers by working with the Ministry of Commerce, the Ministry of Agriculture, and Colombia's Association of Flour Exporters. The agenda for 2030 includes consolidating the flour sector in the country, explore new markets, find added value, and to generate mechanisms that will help when there is fluctuation in our currency. Leading up to Valentine's Day, Colombia's Ministry of Agriculture gave the media a look into the export process from Bogotá's International Airport. Valentine's Day accounts for 15 percent of Colombia's annual sales. 660 million flowers are exported to the United States, the United Kingdom, and Mexico for this day alone. Colombia's Association for Flower Exports said in a press conference on Thursday that the country exports to 100 destinations around the world. For this year's Valentine's Day, only one export was canceled because of the novel coronavirus outbreak. China is the only one who has canceled orders due to the coronavirus. Our exports to China are small, but unfortunately, after the effort of these last five years of trying to grow those exports, they canceled the orders, not just from us, but also from Ecuador. Colombia is the world's second largest flower exporter after Netherlands. So next time you hold a rose or a carnation, chances are they are from this South American nation. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.